For this video, I'm going to be attempting to set up Windows 7 using an installation disk on this Lenovo B560 laptop. Now, the laptop has not started in many years, and it claims when I look into the system recovery, when I look when I go into system recovery mode and look into this, it says that there is no Windows found, pretty much nothing. No operating system is found, so I'm going to attempt to boot up using the disk. So let's do that now. Let's turn on the laptop, plug in the disk, and you'll see a blinking dot there, the top left, right there. It says press any key to boot up the Windows disk. Alright, let's give it a, a few moments to see if it will load here we're showing life we're showing life that's a great sign Okay, so let's get started. Next. Now, let's go ahead and install. But, to be on the safe side, I'm going to connect this laptop to the internet using a direct connection to my router using an Ethernet or network cable. So, I'm going to connect an Ethernet or network cable to my um, network adapter just to make sure I've got this laptop directly connected to the internet. Let's just make 100% sure you just want to be on the safe side and make sure you're connected. All right, now, next step, let's go to install Windows. Setup is starting and we are installing Windows into this laptop. I can hear it running. That's a good sign. All right. Let's see. Starter, ultimate. Let's see. Let's do Windows Ultimate. Here are the list of choices of operating systems to install in this computer that are loaded to this disk. So let's select Windows 7 Ultimate. And go to Next. Alright, and then you want to agree to the Microsoft software license terms you always have to agree to all of that let's just scroll through all of that and then say I accept the license terms and next All right, there, there are two choices. You can upgrade to a newer version of Windows and keep your files, settings, and programs. The option to upgrade is only available when an existing version of Windows is running. We recommend backing up your files before you proceed. Custom Advanced. Let's try this one first. The computer started using the Windows installation disk. Remove the installation disk and restart your computer so that Windows starts normally. Then insert the 
the, the installation disk and restart the upgrade. Alright. Now let's put the disk back in when Windows starts up. Let's see if this works. If this doesn't, I'll select the other option. Again, I'm still just working through this myself. I've I have not done this before. All right, let's try this again. Where's the any key? <laughs> Simpsons joke there. Now let's try this again. I'm going to attempt this one more time, but this time I'm going to select the second option. All right. Let's go through this again. Install now. Let's try the ultimate again. Accept. And I'll just do a custom version. Let's try installing installing it right there. Alright, let's select this one and then go next. I want the one with the most memory. The partition you selected might contain files from a previous Windows installation. If it does, these files and folders will be removed to a, and moved to a folder named windows.old. You will be able to access the information in windows.old, but you will not be able to use your previous version of Windows. That's fine. Let's just do it. I just want to get this computer running. All right, now it says copying Windows files, expanding Windows files, and then it's got to install the features, install the updates, and then complete the installation. So I will come back with the rest of the video when this process has gotten a little further. And hopefully it will. And just to be on the safe side, I'm keeping this connected directly to the router. So there's a network access. And this might take a while, so I'm going to plug the laptop up as well. Even though it still says 0%, you can see right there, the green bar is a little bit further along, so that's a good sign. Okay, it's at 1%, so it is processing and expanding Windows. It's, it is installing Windows right now, so that's a good sign. I'll continue in a moment, or it'll be a moment for you. It'll be a lot longer for me. I'm at 18%, so that's a good sign, and it's moving along pretty well now. 19%, and now 20 I'll continue in a bit. We are now at 90%, 91%, so we're almost completed with this step. We're almost finished with this step. And 94%, 95 Two more percent. All right, that's at 100%. Next, it will install the features and then install updates, which hopefully won't be a problem since I have it directly connected to the router using the Ethernet or network cable. All right. Nope, not a problem. Now completing installation. Restarting in 10 seconds. And the disk stopped spinning. Three, two, one. Restarting Windows. 
Now, this is the final test here. I was getting no sign of windows before. Press any, any key to boot. This is a good sign. Okay, I got a prompt. It's checking all of the disks and verifying the files. So that's going to take a while. That's at 0% right now. I'll continue when it's finished. Okay, it's 4% through step 1. I'll continue when it's 100%. All right, 44%, and it's on step two of three. It deleted the corrupt attribute record, 128. 1,733 large file records processed. Correcting errors. And I'll continue in a moment. Still processing. All right, this is what it's doing right now. Okay, it's still at, it's at 56% in stage 3 of 3. And it just went through the process and rebooted. It was at 100%. All right, now Windows Setup. Select it. Maybe we're cooking now, so to speak. Just did what it told me to do. Now let's wait. Let's try to boot this laptop up without the disk now. So let's boot Windows 7. I have no disk in the drive. So, so far so good. I'm waiting. Windows is booting for the first time in years. You see that prompt? Now this. Next prompt. Continue with prompts and you're complete.